So, article and uh, somewhat of a discussion to follow today. Mm-hmm. Um, kabam. Yes, the, the sound effect. The okay. sound effect Kabam. Uh, no, the game company Kabam. Yes. Who made previously Marvel... Uh, Contest of Champions, which is like a fighting, fighting game. game. Yeah, and a bunch of other mobile games. As well. And a bunch of other mobile games. Um, made an interesting decision recently and canned their game Marvel United during the soft launch. Mm-hmm. Did they go out with a bang? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saving that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I was God. thinking of kaboom puns <laughs> all the time we were talking. That was impressive. <laughs> Thank you. How can somebody can a Marvel game? You know? Well, they I... opened a trash and. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, jokes aside, though, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there could be a number, any number of reasons why they would can, uh, completely can a game, especially after they've done all of the development and production for it. Yeah, I mean, you have to kind of assume that, like. <clears throat> The reaction must have just been abysmal or something, right? Yeah. Um, for them to go that hard and just like fully cancel it without even wanting to see how it does, like in the bigger market, that means that like when it, they did the soft launch, been, yeah. either mm-hmm. nobody played it or the people who did play it hated it. Like, I, I don't know. I I don't really know what the game was. Um, I played the previous game and it was pretty good, but. Okay. Uh, yeah, to go that far and like can something after you've already spent all the money. Yeah, it must be pretty bad. Yeah. But then you gotta wonder, eh? And then they have to say, like... Because they have to look at a couple different things. I mean, is this worth putting out and then having to continue to pay people to make updates for... Yeah, that's essentially it, right? Versus, they had do to, we even think we're gonna make our money like back Like, they had to do it? the calculation and they, based on their, you know, soft launch, they must have seen, hey, supporting this game is gonna cost more than what we're gonna make. So, at this point, like, cut our losses and kill it early, which is... Wow. Or maybe it's a conspiracy, and they wanted to release the game. Except, one of like the developers of the game did something nasty with somebody, and then they held it against him with blackmail, and said it's either you cancel your game, or you pay up. What?! <laughs> what? It could happen. Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have fallen asleep to an episode of Bones with a similar conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I did. It's the secret. Uh, this is a, it's all a horrible blackmail plot. Yeah, um, that's what it is, I guess. Yeah. Uh, have I've never seen that before. Like that a company will straight up. Oh, it's happened. Just it's very rare. Uh, and I mean, it could be part of it is like maybe a sign of the times. Like the mobile market, free to play mobile market, at least is shrinking. And there's no longer the, like, crazy gold rush that people yeah. have been thinking it was for years. Yeah. Uh, and, like, things are actually starting to shift a bit back to premium mobile games. Yeah. Which is nice as a developer who doesn't well, really care about making free play stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe it was a it's, combination of factors. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's. What do you guys think? Maybe they're, um... Maybe they're, like, the reasoning was... Do we know what like zone of Marvel it would have been covering? Like, which well, it's always it's Marvel always the heroes. Universe. Yeah, especially with a name like United, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, it's just it's like a, it was like everything. A, it's supposed to, it's a tactical, well, it was supposed to be a tactical strategy game. Oh wow, okay. <clears throat> involving, um, if I'm not mistaken, involving uh, Marvel heroes. So hmm. like, I could see that being pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know, if, I, like has the there, mecha- has there been an, a tactical Marvel game? I feel like it would have been that would have been a first. Yeah, yeah, I mean we've had Marvel games in like a bunch of other genres, right? Like there was the Diablo style uh, ones on yeah. consoles for a while. There's yeah. like Age of Fighting Apocalypse games. Apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was that really really horrible like third person action game a few years ago made by the makers of uh, what you call it the Space Vikings game. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, What's that game Dennis called? Dennis Nyack's company. <clears throat> uh, oh, crap, I forget the name of the game, but it was like it atrociously was bad. It was this. game. Yeah. <laughs> this thing that I'm blanking <laughs> on. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hopefully we don't see this too often. I mean, this is, this is it's, it's big for a company to take an investment. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what the size of the team was. Yeah. We don't really know what their production costs were. 
But we can assume it was upwards of a hundred thousand dollars, obviously. Oh god, yeah, for sure. Uh, my my only like real hope is that like I I really hope nobody lost their jobs over this because that's always sad when it's just like oh we're canning this project and also firing everyone who worked on it. Yeah, um, that would not be cool. No, that would suck. Um, so but hopefully everyone there is like just gonna move on to make something cooler. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, Let's hope so because Kabam games are not terrible from what I've played so far. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, the the fighting game context of Champions a I, good amount. I feel like there hasn't been like a really good wow Marvel game in a long time. There hasn't. Um, I mean, they've like, got their Spider Man too. I really um, like the Guardians of the Galaxy mobile game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, what what is it? Is it like, just because Guardians played. of the Galaxy is awesome? Oh, they're making them like little chibi cartoon characters that like, <laughs> play each other, and uh, you can upgrade them, and you can choose your team members depending on like its compatibility between members. You get special power ups. Oh, okay. oh cool. cool, okay. It's actually pretty fun. Some interesting little mechanics in there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think about this interesting turn of events for a game that was basically done? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to also subscribe so you can get more of our awesome videos. You can check us out on Facebook at Too Much Sugar Films and on Twitter at TMS underscore films. And if you want to watch more of our uh, pretty sweet videos, you should uh, check us out right over here. Uh...